All right, guys, so I have a problem. Uh, let's get inside before I tell you guys what's going on. All right, so I just got done riding today, and today I was wearing this jacket, which you guys have seen in videos for years, because this air blaster jacket, they're on the ground, this thing is 15 years old. Uh, this is the Air Blaster Beluga, which I found out years later. I bought it, I think, in Auburn because I was going to Montana to go visit one of my buddies, and the average high there was five degrees. Just that's it, five, five degrees. So, um, bought this jacket. This jacket's amazing. I've been wearing it for 15 years. You can tell it's got stains from like lifts, everything on it. The thumb holes on each side, barely holding in, but they still work. Love this jacket. This thing is, I believe, an XL. XL. Air Blaster XL. I want to put this thing on so you guys can see how this fits. Cool. I put it on. I realize I'm an absurd human being. I'm six foot six. But check this out. It comes down well past my hip. My arms are here. This thing's awesome, right? I go online and I look for a replacement puffy. This one's 15 years old. Honestly, the inner liner is doing great. The thumb holes are kind of falling apart, but the inside liner, every once in a while, I'll get a feather, because this is a down jacket, poking through and just, I'll have to pull a feather out. Not the biggest thing in the world, but, you know, just kind of annoying to have like a weird scratch in your back every once in a while, and just to deal with that. So, went online, looked for, for puffers. Uh, there's not too many actual ski puffy jackets. Everyone's got like smart insulation, whatever, whatever, whatever. The reason why I love this jacket, not only with the warmth is like today, the high was 15, I think all day. I wore a long sleeve t-shirt, that's it. And on pow days, the best thing is when I fall, it's like a built-in airbag. This thing is just a marshmallow. It's amazing. And I'm never ever gone head first in, never sunk in. It's been amazing. So, went online, tried to find a new one, found one from Mountain Hardware. Uh, Mountain Hardware trusted, you know, people, so I figure, why not? I ordered this thing last week, and now it's come in. And again, told you guys, I'm wearing this today. Should be wearing my new jacket, but here it is. Mountain Hardware True North Jacket in a double XL, right? Now, before I put this thing on, I'm gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna show you guys what I bought. So this is in my search, Mountain Hardware, True North Threat. I'm gonna open Mountain Hardware. And because I didn't buy it from Mountain Hardware, I'm also gonna open the backcountry. So here is backcountry. This is where I bought it from. This jacket, double XL, Mountain Hardware, dark copper, double XL. Now, take a look at this. This is absolutely insane to me. Model is six foot four, wearing a size medium. Six foot four, wearing a size medium. Now check this out, size guides, eyes guides. Mountain Hardware, nothing. Absolutely nothing. All they have is six foot four wearing a size medium. Based off of that, he's six foot four. I'm six foot six, two inches taller. He's wearing a size medium. Size large should fit me right, but size double XL, I'm gonna go with the extra length, whatever, because I go on to backcountry size chart. Here we go. Mountain hardware, men's apparel, sleeve. Size medium sleeve, 34, 35, 36, 37 inches. Me being an absurd human being at six foot six, I have a size 36, 37 sleeve, according to men's tailored wear, however that works. I see 37 inches and I think that's great. Now, let's see how this mountain hardware jacket fits. Don't mind that very awkward left hand put on. Now, length, fine. Hip, here, awesome. That's great. Sleeves, not too awful. But, 
this is the part where this jacket falls apart. Now when I ride, I ride with my hands in these thumb holes because I love when I put my mittens on, they go around this, no snow gets in and around my wrists ever. Awesome, right? But with this jacket, as soon as I go here, look at that stretch. I'm just out, look at that. Look at that pull. That is the most annoying thing. That is a full stretch. That is gonna rip if I actually fully put my arms out at any point. That doesn't work. Now, I legit haven't actually measured this jacket, so we're gonna see how this works. All right, so inside the house, we've got the mountain hardware laid over top of the air blaster. I've tried to match up the shoulders as much as possible here, just to show you guys the difference. And this is it. You got maybe an inch on the bottom, an inch on the sleeves. That one is tucked in, but this is where I can show you guys on this side. If I move, curl on the counter. There we go. So, sleeve coming all the way down, and this is it. Literally, maybe inch and a half, two inches. And look at that extra space there and that. That is the distance, and that made a difference in this jacket for me. Annoying as hell. So, I'm at a crossroads now. Uh, bought a jacket that I thought could replace my old 15-year-old jacket. It won't. So, I'm probably going to keep on just waterproofing my old 15-year-old jacket. And in the meantime, I know that I can't find one out there that's going to fit me. Uh, Mountain Hardware, with their long sleeves, aren't long enough. North Face sells them for way too expensive at like uh, $800 to $1,000. And most of them don't include any kind of actual ski like normalcy to them. So they don't have the wrist gussets or this powder skirt. Uh, I know Dope makes one. I don't know about them. Uh, and so I'm here. And now I'm at the point where I'm debating making my own jacket. Uh, I have some resources available to me, and I know I can probably do it. It just sucks because it's wild that people show things that are meant for tall people. Like, hey, 6'4", size medium. Double XL at 6'6", six, six doesn't work. Tell me, how does that make any sense? So, um, yeah, I guess that's where I'm at today. I don't really know how to end this because it's mostly just a rant and I'm kind of just annoyed. So, I don't really know how to end this because there's more of a rant than anything else. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'm just kind of at the point where I'm frustrated with everything because bindings break. Turns out my boots, which you guys will see from the video before, also don't work so it just sucks that like everything i keep on buying doesn't fit or doesn't actually seem to work the way that people say that it's going to work which is really frustrating and in most places like if i was actually smart enough it'd be a lawsuit but i just want my money back and i want my money's worth when i buy something so i'm kind of at the point now where i know some guys through work that have connections that can make some things for me I think I might just need to make my own snowboard jackets. Um, it's weird because I know that the way that these things are priced is that I've asked about a windbreaker before. Uh, and for one sample costs about, I think, 200 bucks. And then to get 10, it would cost $40 each. Knowing what's crazy is that companies will sell a windbreaker jacket for $200 and they make it for 40 and probably even less if they're making it in the hundreds and thousands of units you know kind of gnarly which is why i'm kind of broken and then broken more <sighs> none of this will actually make it might include some extras who knows rants of an angry man but yeah so i guess uh yeah leave a comment down below what do you guys think is uh am i just screwed because i'm too tall uh should i make my own stuff i don't know uh, yeah.